All right, FAQ number 80. I got a question here. What about Michael Rood and the Hebrew Roots Movement? Uh, this has definitely been a frequently asked question for me. Uh, a lot of people have wanted me to do a whole big study on the whole Hebrew Roots Movement. And um, honestly, it's just like, it's there, you know, and I probably should. Um, but the fact of the matter is, to me, it's just such a no-brainer, you know, this, this whole thing of, of trying to make all people act like they're Jewish and things. Uh, if you're saved, you should be acting Jewish. You should change your King James Bible to have Jewish names instead of, you know, the Greek names and all this. It's all just a bunch of nonsense. I mean, there's, there's a lot of, of um, things now that people say, oh, what about this and what about that? These big questions, these big debates. And, and you just simply eliminate the debate by saying, I believe the King James Bible. The King James Bible says this, and so I'm going to go with the King James Bible. Debate's over. And they'll say, yes, but we found this text and we found this and we found... Hey, God's seal of approval has been on this King James Bible uh, more so than any other book in history, including the original autographs, including Hebrew manuscripts. Okay, This King James Bible is superior to anything else that's ever been written. And that's the stand that I take. All right. So if you haven't seen my video, is the King James Bible superior to the originals? You can watch that. But um, years and years ago, I heard about this Michael Rood guy, and I got one of these videos, uh, Pagan Traditions or something around the holidays, something like this. And this guy came out, and he was just offensive. I mean, just, just all oh, the Gentiles and the Gentiles, and the, you know, we Jews, you know, and all this stuff. And I'm thinking, okay, this guy's a Christian, you know? I mean, let me just show you a verse here in Scripture. Uh, the book of Galatians. If you want a good book of the, your King James Bible to debunk the whole Hebrew Roots movement, just the book of Galatians is all that you need. Because all the Hebrew Roots heresy thing all is answered right in the book of Galatians. Galatians chapter 3, verse 28 says, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Okay, so uh, we are supposed to be called Christians and nothing else. I don't go around saying I'm a Gentile Christian or I'm going to now become Jewish. I'm a Jewish Christian or something like this. Uh, that's not supposed to be there. Okay, you're a Christian if you're saved. You're in Christ Jesus. If you get somebody who's an ultra-Orthodox Jew and they get saved, they're a Christian. They have to work for the same rewards that I do. Okay, and there's going to be a lot of Gentiles in heaven who are going to have greater rewards than saved Jews. Just the way it is. God's no respecter of persons right now. So to go back and try to say, well, you should be Jewish and we should return the Jewishness of the scriptures and stuff like this, that's not what God intended. All right. Um, yes, I do respect the nation of Israel. Yes, I do defend the nation of Israel. But, um, you know, I don't say that the Jews are somehow untouchable and that they don't sin, that they're, they're not wicked and they don't, they're not doing some really bad stuff right now. I, I teach that they are very wicked and that is the purpose of the time of Jacob's trouble, which is coming. They're going to be corrected that one last time. So, you know, this whole movement is very, very bad. But uh, just read a couple of verses here. Uh, Galatians chapter 2, verse 11 We'll read a couple down through here. It says, But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face. It's Paul writing here. Because he was to be blamed. For before that certain came from James, he did eat with the Gentiles. But when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcision. You say, what's the circumcision? Keep reading. Verse 13. And the other Jews dissembled, uh, dissembled likewise with him, insomuch that Barnabas also was carried away with their dissimulation. But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, what's the truth of the gospel? Anybody can get saved. Whosoever will. You know, Jew, Gentile, whatever you are, get saved. That's the truth of the gospel. But look what Paul does here to Peter. I said unto Peter before them all, If thou being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do, do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? We who are Jews by nature and not sinners of the Gentiles, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ, 
that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. And that's exactly what the Hebrew Roots Movement does. They try to get you back under the law. And another thing that they do, and I've seen this, uh, people have asked this question, they'll try to attack the name of Jesus. They'll say that J, the letter J is a recent invention and whatever else. And so it's actually just, you're actually, when you say Jesus, it's actually Zeus. You know, yay Zeus or something in the Greek language. And so it's just a bunch of retarded people that have no idea what they're talking about. Okay, and again, have you been saved by the name of Jesus? Have you seen the power of the name of Jesus? Yes, obviously. More things and miracles and things have been done through the name of Jesus Christ than at any other name or any other pronunciation of his name. You know, uh, what's all this stuff? You know, well, oh, you know, well, uh, J was not an originally you know, back there in you know, the Greek or the Hebrew language, so therefore it's bad. Well, um, back in the first century, there were no Bibles that looked like this. Nobody was carrying around a Bible like this. There were no ribbon markers in the first century, so I guess ribbon markers are an abomination. You see the, the stupidity of this thing? It's all these, these little attacks on your Bible, on the King James Bible. What about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? Hey, man, do you believe in Jesus Christ? No, I believe in, you know, then they'll try to make the Hebrew thing, the Yeshua and whatever else. And you say, okay, what does Yeshua mean if you translate from Hebrew Yeshua to English? What would the word be? Uh, here's a clue. It's Jesus Okay, so it's not some kind of a magical name, Yeshua, and that's the true name of Jesus and things, and Jesus is a false god or something. Yeshua is the Hebrew word for Jesus. And then you get these heretics, and they'll come out, and they'll say Yahashua and all this stuff. That's the name, you know, if you go from Yahashua, Hebrew, to English, you have Joshua. Joshua didn't die on the cross to pay for your sins, okay? So these people, they get all mixed up in all this Hebrew root stuff, and it just like... Galatians, the book of Galatians. Okay, what is what am I supposed to do here? There, Hebrew roots heretics. Well, you're 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 supposed to, uh, you know, become Jewish and act Jewish and things like. Okay, um, and I'm am I still able to believe in Jesus Christ? Well, no, it has to be Yeshua Hamashiach and all this stuff. You have to do all this Hebrew stuff. Okay, um, is it faith alone? Well, no, because you can't get rid of the law, the Old Testament law, and the see. The book of Galatians is all you need. They're trying to get you back under the law. That's all they're trying to do, you know. And I'll just give you a little thing here. If you're falling for this, Galatians chapter 3, verse 1 through 3. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? That's what these, these Hebrew roots people are trying to do. They're trying to bewitch believers. That ye should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Are ye so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Look at Michael Rood. Look up pictures of the guy. I'm not even going to bother wasting your time, you know, putting pictures of this nut on there. He's like from California or something. It's funny. And, you know, he's got the big beard and, you know, and the whole jewish thing and stuff he'll be in his videos and he's dressed in all these priestly robes and everything although he's not a priest and he's not a rabbi he's just a you know seeker of truth or some kind of whatever you see what they do they try to get you to start changing your outfit changing your look and everything else you say what about you brian you got a beard yes i have a beard because i'm a man but i'm not trying to grow my beard so i can look like a jew i'm not going to start walking around saying i'm jewish or something i'm not jewish i'm german okay so, you know, this, this whole thing is just absolutely ridiculous. And go to one other verse of Scripture here, which is very important. Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Okay, be very careful about calling yourself Jewish when you're not. All right. The Bible identifies people like that as the synagogue of Satan. And many of these Hebrew roots people, they start attacking faith in Jesus Christ. They'll, they'll tear down the name of Jesus. And, you know, the Bible says, too, that, you know, at the name of Jesus, every knee is going to bow, you know, essentially. I mean, it's just like, you best not mess with the name of Jesus. But these people, they, they will get to the point where they are denying faith. 
Uh, it's it's all works. You have to go back under the law and prove that you're righteous and whatever else. So don't let these people shake you up with their the word J isn't is a recent and you know letter J excuse me is a recent invention. You're actually worshiping Zeus and everything else. Uh, Zeus would not have any kind of power to save somebody to change life like Jesus Christ does. Um, there are no hymns written to Zeus, and you say, well, what about the hymns written to Jesus? Um, sing those hymns sometime and see what happens. The old hymns and things that are written to honor and uplift the name of Jesus Christ. Um, they aren't going to make you feel like you're worshiping a pagan god. So these, these heretics, all these people that are trying to make themselves into Jews, um, all they are, they're just a different branch of replacement theology, Roman Catholic replacement theology. Um, going to be talking about that in a future FAQ. Why does the devil, why is the devil so interested in the uh, replacement theology teaching? And uh, so I'm not going to spoil it with this one, but it's, it is one of the most satanic of all movements. I mean, right there, Revelation chapter 3, verse 9, they are the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. Uh, that's what's going on with the Hebrew Roots Movement. It's designed to destroy uh, salvation by grace through faith. They try to get you back onto the law. And, you know, you can read too, and we're not going to go there, and we're not going to read it, but I'll just go here. Acts chapter 15. Um, well, I'll just read verse 1. And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. So they're trying to make them into Jews. Read the whole chapter, Acts chapter 15. They actually have a council there with all the original disciples and things and, and the elders and, and, I mean, all the biggest men in Christianity back then. And they all say, no, you know, these Gentiles don't have to act like they're Jews. Um, your customs, your traditions and things, as long as they are not making you sin, you don't have to give up your customs and, customs and traditions of your kindred. Okay, I'm not going to give up my German customs and traditions and, you know, traditional foods and ways and things like that uh, of my ancestors. Uh, no, I'm not going to give those up. I'm not going to start acting Jewish. And I'm not going to, I'm sure not going to go back and try to say I'm justified by the law keeping the Ten Commandments or something. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. So don't, don't be roped in by this whole Hebrew Roots uh, movement. It is a satanic movement.